Okay, so do you know how not to shop? Ask yourself, how often does it happen that you go out, you do your grocery shopping, you go into town, you look in shops and you come back home and you find that you've brought a lot more stuff than you bargained for. A lot more things than the ones that you initially set out to buy. It happens. You may have heard of that study about grocery shopping, that if you go into a shop when you're hungry, you tend to buy a lot more food that you never intended to buy. They just looked appealing because you were hungry. A similar effect applies to a lot of other shopping. Personally, I had that with books. Whenever I walked into a bookshop, I always walked out with books and especially I walked out with more books than I intended to buy. Why is that? There's something in us that goes into freewheeling mode as soon as we are faced with things that we're interested in buying. And for some reason, parts of our brain seem to be turned off at that moment. That could be because we're hungry and our body reacts to the fact that we're hungry in a manner that we didn't anticipate. In a shop of clothing, that could be that we've been exposed to marketing or advertisements of that particular item before. It could be peer pressure. It could be really anything. But the point of the matter is that we walk out of the shops with more than we initially wanted to buy and having paid a lot more than we originally intended to spend. I've told you before about me buying more books than I thought. And I found a way to deal with this in a fairly obvious way. I never go into bookshops to buy things that I've just seen. I can browse as much as I want, but I can only buy the things that I walk in with the specific idea of buying. How does that work? Basically, I can browse and whatever sticks to my mind I walk out, I keep in mind and I think about buying. When I walk back into the shop, most of the books I saw before I completely forgot. So those aren't really on my agenda anymore. I might buy one and that's it. But again, I can browse as much as I want for the next time I walk in, which will be a couple of weeks down the road. And the same principle applies. I have found a way to automatically limit the number of books I buy because I suppress the impulse buy. Now, the same goes for anything else. If you go grocery shopping, make a shopping list. If you go clothing shopping, know beforehand what you're looking for. If you're looking for a blouse, don't buy a skirt. If you're looking for a pair of shoes, just buy one, don't buy five. There is a certain logic to this. It's suppressing the impulse shopping and only buying the things that you consciously walk into a shop to buy. That can be done by writing a shopping list, but could be done by postponing the actual act of buying. But both ways work. Give them a go, stay clutter aware and come back for more. If you want more, there are options. Click the round logo to subscribe to this channel or select the playlist in the middle to see more content or check out the links in the description below. Oh, and feel free to like this video.